Welcome to everyone who's here tonight and those that are watching remotely and those that are our regulars. Wonderful to see us all in the house of God. Just the normal uh, notices for the week. Wednesday, 1 till 2, is the powerhouse service. Do bring and drive people in. Uh, the doors are open less now because of the uh, cold weather. So we do pray, uh, and you can hear what is going on in this place through those doors. So let the praise draw people in. The signage directs them around the building, so we're still expecting that God will send people. That's one till two every Wednesday, powerhouse service. Wednesday, six till seven, the Bible study. Um, we're expecting for that to grow as we start going into the schools. But do pray. Do pray for the schools. I'll show a little testimony before I go into the rest of the announcements. We were in Greg's earlier having a coffee, as we often do on a Sunday. And there was a, a woman that I've been praying for for some time, just seen her around Redditch. We invited her to church. Immediately she said, yeah. I'll come, just like that. I'll come to church. She's not with us tonight because she went to another church with uh, some of our fellowship. But God knows, and obviously God had already ordained that conversation, that invitation, and let us pray that something will be seeded in her life today. She was so ready to uh, uh, take it. Thursday, 6.30 till 8.30, the Worship Academy and Choir. And as we've already said, we're singing songs, but we're also referencing to the scripture that is found in the songbook. Wonderful. Every person that comes in is getting inundated with the word of God just washed over them and the praises and the hymns. Fridays. 12pm, the luncheon, we're uh, often feeding now a fellowship of about 20 people every week and uh, a great time of fellowship and it really is rippling out as we're meeting a significant uh, physical need but praying, bookends, we're praying for them and giving them a gospel message, reaching that spiritual need and then of course Sunday's gospel service 6 till 7 but we want more. If God's birthing something on any one of us here, and you want these facilities, the church and the saints to come around you, just birth it. Just pray about it. Mention it to Major Dawn and uh, we'll put it into being. Praise God. Now we're going to open the service in prayer. David, would you uh, open the service in prayer for us, please? Amen. Praise God. And if you've got the Word of God in front of you, we're going to read through Psalm 63 and just birth what we're doing in that today. Psalm 63, and we'll read around the congregation. O oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My body longs for you. In a dry and weary land where there is no water. I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. Verse 3. Oh, yeah. 
down to the depths of the earth. Verse 10. They will be given over to the sword and become food for jackals. But the king will rejoice in God. All who swear by God will glory in him, while the mouths of liars will be summoned. Praise God. And we are now going to uh, praise his name. If you're able to stand, the worship group are going to uh, lead us in a time of worship. Over to the worship group. Four, five, five, the first song, Blessed Assurance. Let us stand and sing.
Uh, next song is number 453, Amazing Grace. Curtis, uh, I hear that uh, during the week, Joe sent to me a uh, verbal thing on our little text of him doing this a cappello. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it was a joke, but David also did the same. So I said, right, you two could do a cappello at the front on Sunday. Go on then, David. Come on. Let's, let's leave the congregation and bless them. Come on. I don't know about the blessing, Joe, but you can lead us. After three, one. Yeah, one, two, three. Amazing.
first one again. As a dear pants for the waters of my soul, I love you, you alone are my heart, desire, and I long to worship you. You alone. fellowship in this place. We thank you for the way you are moving amongst us. And Lord, we just pray for more. We pray that many more through the overspill of what's going on in this place will come to know you as Lord and Saviour. We pray for all those walking past, seeing the lights on, hearing your praises being sung. We just pray that that will just strike a chord in each and every person. We thank you for all you're doing in the week weaving the conversations, the journey with people, and the teetering of so many in this place coming to know you as Lord and Saviour. And Lord, we pray boldly and expectantly <coughs> that they're going to know you and profess you as Lord and Saviour. And we pray and thank you for all you are doing in their lives, their households, their families and their communities as you turn each and every woman and child that enter into this place to a 
recite knowledge again. I give you thanks and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. <coughs> yes, Lord, we worship you tonight, Lord. Lord, we just want to be in your presence, Lord. Because that's where we belong, Lord, in your presence. Lord, so we pray that your Holy Spirit will dwell amongst us, Lord, and walk amongst us to touch every one of us, Lord. Lord, let us be in your presence, Lord. Let us see in your voice. Lord, let our heart be lifted up to you mm -hmm. and raised up, Lord, as a, a fragrance of incense to you, Lord, that you can see our offering to you tonight, Lord. Lord, we open up our hearts and our ears to hear your command, Lord, your will for each one of us, Lord. You guide us, Lord, and lead us through this world, Lord. With everything that's going on, the chaos that's abounding, Lord, even in the government, Lord. Just things seems as though things just go from bad to worse, Lord. And Lord, when we see darkness encroaching, Lord, we see your light abound even more. So let that light shine brightly, Lord. You guide us, Lord. Help us to make it into the promised land, Lord. Help us to be ready and waiting for your coming, Lord. And in the meantime, Lord, let us keep going about the Father's business, Lord. Speaking to all those that we may encounter, Lord. Pointing them in the right direction, Lord, that they will not be lost or down to hell, Lord. That they would open up their minds, Lord, open up their ears, and they would hear your gospel, Lord, and know that they need to be saved. That this life isn't just by chance. We're just we, we did evolve from the from a big bang, Lord. But you created each one of us, Lord. So help us to fulfill the callings of your and let you be glorified in this nation, Lord, and all, in all nations, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Our loving Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for giving us this wonderful day, Lord. We pray for each and every one of those who are available here, Lord. Please be with them, guide them, help them, Lord. Thank you for protecting us throughout this entire week. We also pray for those who are sick and suffering, Lord. Please be with them and guide them, help them. And we also pray for all the uh, failures and all the sick people, Lord. And we pray for the nations, Lord. Please be with them and let all the young children and all the Lord, el all the elder people, please uh, come before you, Lord. We touch each and every one in your hands, Lord. Thank you for choosing us. Thank you for Bringing us, bringing us here, Lord, and let your presence be with us from the beginning till the end. In the precious name of God, our Master. read a verse of scripture 1 Peter 3.15 But in your hearts set apart Christ as Lord always be prepared to give an answer 
to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect. I'm going to read that again. But in your hearts, set apart Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect. And Lord, I just pray that into fruition in each of our lives as we're praying for our leaders, our governance, and uh, all those in authority, Lord, that they would have that God-shaped hole filled by your Holy Spirit. Transform them, Lord, and change them, renew them, redeem them, and bring them to a saving knowledge of you as Lord and Saviour, that they may govern <coughs> as you govern through them and blow through their decisions and use their arms and legs for your purposes, we pray. In Jesus' name, Amen. And um, <coughs> I'm going to ask we sing a song. Maybe just voices. Uh, again, I'm, I'm, you complimented me before, so there's no stopping me now. <laughs> um, but 389, and I just feel that this is something that we can stand and sing as an army. Rejoice, rejoice, Christ is in you. 389. And we'll start with our voices, if that's okay, and if... If the band is able, because, you know, I don't want to put you on the spot. Great. But after three. One, two, three. Rejoice, rejoice, Christ is in you. The hope of glory in our hearts. He lives, he lives, his breath is in you. Arise, a mighty army. We are all.
have. And let me say, some of us can try and be theologians when we're asked. Sing to them. Sing if God places it on your heart. Sing a song over them. Read scripture straight into the circumstance and watch God take hold. But that, this song that we just sung, now is the time for us to march upon the land. It really is, isn't it? Into our hands, it will give the ground we claim. That testimony today in um, bricks of all places, just that invitation and that decision being made. And then the fact that God is at work in each and every one of us. It is God's work to build his kingdom, to establish his praises and his throne. We're the arms and legs that have the privilege to partner with him. And praise God. But verse 3, I love verse 3. And some of you may know I come from a house church beginnings as a youngster. And we'd have the most unlikely lads and lasses in our house as a child. And the weaknesses that each one came in with from the brokenness of society. But the grace of God that we've sung about, that amazing grace, abounded over each and every one, valuing each and every person and their story and the treasure of Christ within. But he turns our weaknesses, their weaknesses, into his opportunities so that the glory goes to him. So whether we're tired, whether we feel like we're wrung out and we're useless failures, what a good place to be. Because it's in that weakness that God turns into his opportunities so that the glory goes to him. And if anyone isn't here for that purpose, why do I leave? No need for you to be here, is that? It's all about the glory going to him. Praise God. Now, I'd like you to uh, break where you've come with people tonight. I'd like you to break into triplets. And triplets that you haven't necessarily travelled in with or the same household. And I'd like you to give anything that's a burden on your heart tonight into prayer and praise of the triplet. And I'd like us to break away and do that, and then we'll come back together. Right then, just to draw everyone in your triplets, we've got five minutes or so on that clock to really press in with God, and then I'm going to draw us back. <laughs>
Praise God and drawing those prayers to a close. Don't shut them down but draw them in. Let me ask you the question. Who feels refreshed and renewed by praying together? Yeah? Lovely show of hands, yeah. Where two or more are gathered and Christ is in the midst, we had church on multiple levels. Praise God. Let me ask you, and do let me finish the sentence before you lynch me. When was the last time you had confession before a priest? Every day. Every day? Okay, never. Every day. Scripture. Absolutely. Scripture says in Hebrews chapter 4, verses 14 to 16. Jesus, the great high priest. And before we go there, absolutely, on the earthly, no man can receive what Christ is there to receive. But Jesus as our high priest. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has gone through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathise with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet was without sin. Let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Whenever we're feeling low, empty or depleted, it is the great high priest who we go to in prayer, in praise, in worship. On our knees is a good place to be before the throne of God. And slightly differently today, I don't want to upset anyone with doing this, but I'd like us to turn to 243. And before we move into our second part of worship, 243. I am making up as a go along, so, uh, you know, I feel hoping it's spirit-led. 
before the throne of God above. And we'll just do it vocally with voices. Let us stand and sing. Two, four, three. One, two, three. Before the throne of God above, I have a stronger perfect plea. A great high priest whose name is love, whoever lives and pleads for me. My name is graven on his hands. My name is written on his
the fiery, cloudy pillar lead me all my journey through. Lord, that's our prayer tonight, God. That's our prayer tonight. Let the fiery, cloudy pillar lead me all my journey through. Oh God, let your fire burn on the inside. Let it burn on the inside. And then, Lord, let people be able to see the fire of God in us. Yeah. Hallelujah. Right, the next song we're turning to, number 26. Great is thy faithfulness.
offertory at the front for the work of this church to keep the heating and the lights on as we keep praising God in the future weeks. If you're able to give, please do. It's uh, not just for our heating and our light, we're worshipping candlelight if we need to, but it's mission and evangelism to reach the lost. And that's what this place is doing. That's the first thing. Second thing, I don't often promote preachers and speakers, but next week we've got a very special preacher and speaker. No, no, it's not me, it's not me. It's you guys, because I've, uh, I've been praying about it through the service, and I'd like next week a song in the week that's on your heart, and a little bit of testimony, about three minutes to five minutes max. So if you're feeling God stirring that already, send it across, because obviously I want the musicians to have enough time to be au fait with the songs that are on your heart, because I wouldn't want to just throw them into that. Yeah, can I just say there, if you've got a song, please test. Just Straight to me, yeah. yeah. So I'll pray already, because I, I wouldn't have uh, announced such great speakers and great preachers, um, but I pray God's already stirring that song and that testimony. But ping it straight through on WhatsApp or text or whatever to me. I'll get it to the musicians so they can birth those songs and we will uh, lead that service next week. Of course, those friends and family and those that aren't with us today will just be blessed by the myriad of God's truths and God's stories in each of our lives. So that is next week. Much better preacher than uh, has been previously. It's you guys. And uh, has anyone got anything that they need laying on of hands at this time? Uh, anything that you need prayer for? Yeah, one, two, lovely. Do you want to come up to the front and we'll come around you before we sing our final song? Anyone else? If you'd like to come and pray for uh, our, two, uh, our two sisters here, yeah, that's great. Please come round and we'll uh, lay on hands. <coughs> it's body ministry, so you know. The more of us that are up here, the better. And pray as God leads. Body ministry. Come on, let's pray for our sisters. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord declares, Lord, you search us from now until now, our density and our horizon. You are Lord, our thoughts from afar, and you know everything about us, Lord. And we just pray for uh, this and for Tina today, Father. And minister to them as you see them in, according to your wisdom and your enabling of prayer, God. Be that Lord that is needed, physically, spiritually, emotionally, whatever way, in Jesus' name. There is holiness in your name, Lord Jesus, in fullness. And we ask and submit everything to your Lordship, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we pray that you will just touch, restore, and heal in your way Thank you, and in your will. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your lovely name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Holy Spirit will just take hold of these bodies, Lord. Fill them to overflow. Just any dross that isn't of you, Lord, just let it bubble over. That refiner's fire, Lord, touch it with your Holy Spirit. And we pray for Tina, we pray for Liz, and we pray for Martin, Lord, and we'll lay hands on it in a moment over refreshment. But Lord, we pray that you will take hold of these needs, physical, spiritual, mental and emotional, Lord, Jesus. and just rid anything that is in you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus is Amen.
Amen. Thank you, Lord. We just, just say, say that we, we lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. No, not you say might. She said they shall. Shall do. And he also said you do it. So we're doing it, Lord. Yeah. We lay our hands on the sick and Lord, we believe in you. That they will be healed, as your word says. Lord, we declare it. You see clear, declare healing over Liz and over Tina. Yeah, in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Because that's what your word says. Yeah. Lord, and we claim that Lord, it says in your scripture that by your stripes we were healed. Also, Lord, because that is the truth in your word. Yeah. So we declare this over in Jesus' name that by your stripes they are healed. In Jesus' name. Yes. And all the saints say, Amen. 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 And we're going to finish with our final hymn now. And of course, the prayers don't stop. That's fellowship that continues over at Freshman. 279, to God be the glory, great things he hath done.
Candles last night in, in my house, right? Just making a couple of candles. From old recycled ones, I've melted down and put together. But you're only allowed by government law to light candles at the weekend. Oh, oh God. God. And we're now going to close what? in what? prayer. Mewry, could you close the service in prayer, please? Amen. Praise God.